Responsive Editing 101. Making pages or sections responsive is actually quite simple if you understand the two main concepts, which are direction and size. Let's start with direction. When it comes to responsive editing, the most important layout setting is direction. And with direction, you can determine whether elements are placed next to each other, as you can see right here, the image on the left, the text element on the right, or whether elements are placed vertically, so on top of each other. And most of the time, a horizontal layout works on desktop since the screen is white and thus there is a lot of space to place elements next to each other. However, on smaller viewports, such as on the mobile viewport, there's less space. So most likely the elements that were stacked next to each other will not fit on the screen anymore. And thus we need to change the direction. So let's take a look at the different viewports. Right here, the laptop viewport, and this still looks very good. Then we have the tablet viewport, and this is where it starts to look a little bit too cramped and weird. And then if we go to the mobile viewport, it's completely off and we need to change this. And luckily, it's really simple. So let's go to the first viewport where things start to look a little bit weird. Then we select the right container. In this case, it's the container holding the image and the text element. We go down to layout and direction and change the layout from horizontal to vertical. And now the elements are placed underneath each other. There are still a few issues, so it's not perfect, but we come back to that later when we discuss size. But for now, this looks good. If we go to the mobile viewport, it also looks somewhat good. The next thing I want to accomplish is that the image is on the bottom and the text is on top. And we can do that by going back to the layout settings direction and clicking on reverse by clicking on this option we reverse the layout so right now the image is at the bottom and the text is at the top an important concept that we cannot miss is that i've just made these changes on the mobile viewport however if i go to the tablet viewport you can still see that the image is on top and the text is on the bottom so the layout has not been reversed if I now delete this setting on the mobile viewport right there and make the changes on the tablet viewport, reverse the layout and then go back to mobile, you can also see that the same changes have applied to the mobile viewport. And that's because everything you do on a larger viewport also changes the settings on the smaller viewports. And that's why it's important to work your way down. Start from the desktop viewport and work your way down to the mobile viewport. So that's it for the direction. And now we can take a look at size because there are a few things that are still going wrong, especially with regards to the image right here. So what most often goes wrong is caused by a fixed height and width setting on a certain element or simply not changing the settings that you had on desktop and might not look good anymore on a tablet or mobile viewport. And as you can see right here with regards to the image and then the width and the height, we can see that the width is set to 60%. That means that the image will occupy only 60% of the space available. If we change this to 10, it will occupy 10% of the space available. But right now it can occupy 100% of the space available. Also, the height of the image is set to a fixed height of 580 pixels because this looked good on the desktop viewport. But when we go to the mobile viewport, the image is actually a bit too big for this viewport. So we need to change it and let's change it to fill. So right now it only occupies as much space as the dimensions of the image. What we need to do next, since we made these changes on the mobile viewport, is make the same changes on the tablet viewport. So as you can see right here, the image still occupies 60% of the space available. So let's change this to 100. And the fixed height actually looks good on this device, so we don't need to change it. It's important to remember that whenever you work with fixed width and height settings, you will get into trouble somewhere so it might look good on desktop but it might not look good anymore on the tablet or mobile viewport so be sure to always check your width and height settings when making your pages responsive so now let's preview and see if we've done a good job laptop viewport looks good tablet looks good and the mobile viewport also looks good 
And that's it for responsive editing. I hope you have a good understanding of the basics and good luck.